I was looking at Google News, and on the sidebar, they had this spotlight from Harper's Bazaar, and it was an article entitled, Men Have No Friends and Women Bear the Burden. And it was talking about toxic masculinity, and it was saying some valid things, especially when it was saying that, you know, some of these standards are one of the main contributing factors to why men's suicides are so common, so much more than women. And, uh, but it was saying that, you know, men rely on their wives. Let's just say we're talking about where it's primarily talking about married couples. And men rely on their wives to be their therapists, essentially unpaid therapists, because they, they don't express their emotions to their male friends, if they even have male friends. One of the things that fails to mention is that there's a lot of women out there, a lot of married women out there, who don't want their husbands to hang out with their male friends. They'll complain if, they're, if they want to go to the bar and hang out with their male friends there. Oh, you should be doing it differently. You should do it like women. And it's just like, well, no, men will deal with their emotions slightly differently than women. You know, for the most part. And you, you can't... Eh, some of this is this, this is still pushing this ridiculous idea that men and women are the same... And the only differences are social. It's just like, no, it's, it's, not, just, it's not just a social construct. Sure, there, the social, there is a social construct to it, but it's not purely a social construct by any stretch. Um, but, you know, this article is yet another one that pushes that, that narrative, and it's frustrating. You know, it, and it's also mentioning that trying to say that, oh, it's, it's a whole generation of men that are, are having this problem particularly worse than before. And it's just like, well, there's a reason for this. So many of the things that men used to use as their safe spaces are being taken away. They're, they're, we're saying, no, you can't, men can't have their own safe spaces because, well, you know, everything is, is already uh, revolves around men, and men don't need a safe space. Well, yeah, they, they do. As much as maybe some men will cringe at me calling them those things safe spaces, but um, yes, men, men need safe spaces too. That's where they have a chance to talk about these things emotionally. It's just... It's the same problem when... Uh, People will say it's totally fine for this group over here to take pride in the group they belong to, but not this one over here because no, this one, this one's in the majority, and therefore they don't need us. They don't need to uh, to celebrate that. It's celebrated everywhere anyway. It's just it's, what what kind of shit is that? You know. We can see what happens when we when we take this stuff away from people and then celebrate these other groups, we, we can see what happens. You know, this sort of thing is why there's a rise, uh, one of the reasons, not going to say the reason, but one of the reasons why there's a rise in white supremacy, why there's a rise in uh, the bad side of men's rights activism, and blaming women for all of their problems, right? It's bad when any group blames all the other groups for all of their problems. Anyway, I'll leave a link to the article in question. It was an interesting read, but it's under that same narrative that men and women are the same and the only differences are, are, are social, and that can be all taken care of, and men can be like women, and it's just, uh, of course, they don't word it that way, right? But anyway... <sighs>